Ladies and gentlemen, you're all welcome to another interesting episode of the program. As you already know, I am Adesua, aka Miss Sunshine. And as usual, I'm not telling set. I have with me a really, he looks gentle. I don't know if he's gentle, Joe, but he's a gentleman. And his name, <clears throat> we have to pause to say the name, Peruzi. I hope I got it right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've been practicing that name for a long time now, so I have to get it. How, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. You look chilled and all that. Are you usually this chilled or it's because you're in front of a camera? Because I mean, you guys, yeah. It was. Yeah, this is me, it's you. Yeah. 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 So if I, if I take your heart right now, would you still be chilled? Of course I will. Okay. Not the, not the, not the. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. how, how has it been, though? How has it been? Good, 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 good. Okay. Tell, tell me about your music and all that. Well, I started doing music professionally in 2007. Okay. And, um,. I started writing and doing like creative direction for lyrical contents and stuff okay. for other people. Okay. Yeah. Then um, in 2013, I got signed to to a, to a label, Dennis Music, but we, we lasted a year. Then because of school stuff and all that stuff. So last year I got signed to Golden Boy and we just put out the first material, which is for your pocket. The video so just came out last week. Okay. It's, it's this week, sorry, on Sunday. How, so how, how is it doing? How, how's the reception? Like? Yeah, very good, very good, very good. Positive, positive vibes, trust me. Okay. So what, what, what kind of music do you do with this style? Um, it's called Urban Afro Vibes. Okay. That's like um, blending swing with Afro beats. What's swing? And then we speak English. Salsa <laughs> with Afro beats. Like, oh, okay. Like, yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah. It's just different genres of music that has like roots of Afro beats in it. So that's Urban Afro Vibes. Okay, you say, you, say, you say you write your songs as well? Yeah, I do. And you write for others as well? Yeah. As well. So, can you like give me instances like people you've written for? Now? Um, this year I wrote four songs for Peace Square. Okay. I've written for Run Town. Okay. And a couple of underground people you don't get to mention. Ah, so you used to write your love music? <laughs> that's what I call that's what I call the whole Nigerian vibe oh, and all that. No, I write anything, man. It depends on who I'm writing for. Okay. Yeah. Okay, tell I just put is, there, is there a song that I know or they, that we know that you've written that it was yeah. you that wrote it? Yeah, I co wrote. There's a. Um, on this day, I give you my heart. Yeah. Really? That's one time song. Yeah. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just saying it. Yeah. I like that one. So, how, how do you see the Nigerian music scene though, especially for people who are trying to do different sound than what we used to? Well, um, I think if I was asked this question like last year, mm -hmm. It would have been my answer would have been different, but now I think everything is falling in place. It's just a matter of time because people are beginning to um, focus on the lyrical contents of materials out and um, not just making noise and all that stuff. It's beginning to change, and that's I think that's a very good thing. Okay. There are a lot of people like us <laughs> come through. So you have the cash, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but but. I'm a music lover, yeah? yeah. And then I, I usually don't really vibe to Nigerian music because I, I feel like the lyrics are not really cool. So you say you're a songwriter. Mm -hmm. So which one is more important to you, the lyrics or people just jam into the song? Um, the lyrics, actually. Okay. But that, that, is, that doesn't just make the music. You know, the music has to be the lyrical content, the beats, the vibe and everything to it. Like the meaning, the meaning, the message you're trying to pass across and stuff like that. Yeah, but I, I don't joke with my lyrical content. So it's if you if you were going to do a song that has a really um deep really deep lyrics, and then you're going to do what I call Quangolo music, just hit the, all the sound and just mm -hmm. jam, which would you pick? Um, uh, good music, definitely. That might not sell. <laughs> it depends on where it depends on the market. Really? Yeah. Okay, it's because... changing. Trust me. I don't think so because I've I've heard I've I've had artists who do R and B and all that tell you um, that doesn't sell so they have to like switch to the whole um, you know I like to call each other from the part of me and all that they have to do the switch because the lyrics and all that R and B whatever wasn't selling for them. Yeah, but then you can you can still give them the vibe that's the Jalof vibe mm -hmm. with meaningful lyrics, you know. Uh, for example, I think Kiss Daniel's Mama song. The, the, that was like an up-tempo beat, but still, the lyrical content was good, you know, so you still have people who are doing the same thing, it just depends, man, well, you could you could have an up-tempo beat with, with good lyrics to it. Okay, let me chip in. If, no, if nobody else can, I die. You can. 
<laughs> I like I like to see something that you have done though, so I, I can actually know if you're not just bragging, like if you actually. Well, you know, it's a matter of time. Okay, okay. Let me chip in this one. Where, where did you shoot? You said you shot a video, yeah? Mm -hmm. Where did you shoot it? Lagos, Cooler Studios. Okay, I thought it was outside of my. Okay, but how how do you see that whole federal government saying don't shoot your music group whatever outside of Nigeria? Do you think it'll work? Honestly, I don't want to get into trouble, but I don't think I don't think he, the, whoever said he thought about it well because, like, that's not the point. That has nothing to do with the country. Like, that has nothing. It doesn't affect anybody in any way. It doesn't affect the economy in any way. You know. Instead, I think it gives us that that um edge. You know, that when, for example, you go out to shoot a video, you're shooting a video because you want a certain um kind of feel to that video. It's not everything you can achieve here. Even the hands here, the, the certain things you ask them for, they tell you you can only get it outside. Okay. So it doesn't doesn't change anything. I feel like there's no need for that, honestly. So if they actually do um, implement that whole law and all that, mm -hmm. how do you think it's going to affect the entertainment in Nigeria? No, I just I feel it's going to it's going to make the the video directors step up their game, the cinematographers step up their game, and all that. And um, we we are in the industry here, now, so we have to follow whatever rules being set you know so if they implement if they implement the whole thing we'll, we'll go with it now we have no choice now we're here you don't think it's going to like cost more cost of production will not be a bit higher and all that well if that's what it takes you, the people who still travel out to go shoot videos it's not like they shoot it for free so they still spend that money so if our people here can actually give us what we want instead of traveling or buying air tickets and stuff let's just still shoot it here I me mean, i'm cool with anything what was the most challenging thing about being an artist here in nigeria Mm, I think that would be getting airplays because unlike how it is outside where the talent is the talent has like more percentage than the money in your pocket, you know. Here you have to like kiss so many asses and spend so much. Yeah. That's when you have good materials. Okay. You understand? So I think that's the only thing. Besides that. So how, how have you been able to knock that off? Have you been able to knock that off or are you still... Of course, I'm still in the process, but like I have, I have a team, I have a label, Golden Boy Music. Mm -hmm. I have a team and everything is sorted out. I'm but, here. But how do you think we can actually get to that stage where artists actually get lots of revenue from their work? Um, I think it started already because there, there, there are several ways to monetize your materials and stuff. Mm -hmm. But with time, with time to grow, I think, but we're there already. We, that's something that's already in play. Okay. Okay, um, okay, before I let you go, just just let me into... Are you working on any projects, like, recently? Mm, yeah, I'm working on collaborations, actually. Okay. Um, you can just tell me about I'm going to play do a song with YC, um, okay. Wonder Cole, Brenner Boy. Okay. Yeah. But that's all for now. Have you started, or... Is yeah, I have 27 the... songs unreleased. Yeah, so, but those are singles, just me. So now I'm trying to do like col collaboration so that the fan base and all of that would increase. Okay. What, what's next for you then? Um, I guess my my um second single. I don't know if the second single would drop before the collabor collaboration with any of those three guys I mentioned, but it's, it's just the music, man. I'm just here to make music and put it out. It's been, it's been three years since I put out a song before this one. Well, why so, did you take that kind of break? Yeah, first of all, I had label issues, uh -huh. you know, but then after we sorted it out, I had to take time to work on myself. So I didn't just want to put out any material. So I was working on myself and working on myself. I have songs, I have actually more than 84 songs, I think. But not, you know, you know the way time changed and then the way, the way you paint pictures in 1991 is not the same way you paint that same picture now. So yeah, so we're, we're like reproducing like the, the song, some of the songs, trying to see which song will make the EP or the album or whatever. So it's, for me now, it's just creating music. That's what I love to do. That's what I'm, what I'm about, so, so are we that's it for me. Are we looking at from, uh, for an album from you? Yeah, but singles first. I think I drop a lot, about three or four singles, maybe a collaboration before the album, but definitely the album. Okay, before you go, you have to do something for me, yeah? What's that? You have to do like, it's one minute freestyle for the camera and the love is in music. Oh. Yeah. People follow me, there's God in disguise. The ones who don't believe, I hope they see the truth and the lies. There's no apology, my G, I know I'm doing it right. My flow's in front of me, crucify me for taking a dive. 
I go, I go in. I rise above it all, you know I'm going. I brought the game back in action like a throw in. And you already know the nigga flow clean. So mama say a prayer for me. Let your light shine, cause this road is too dark. I swear this thing is fucking weird to me. I mean, it's taking all my energy. <laughs> what up, it's your boy Peruzzi, and I'm hanging with Adeswa. Yeah, on Fresh News TV. Fresh News TV. Yeah. Don't know. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much for coming. Thank you thank very you much for very having much. me. Like I always say, do not forget to subscribe to all of our social media platforms. Details of all that is on the scroll bar down below. And then you can follow me on Instagram at PHYCE5. And on Twitter, it's MZ at Desua. And so can you just call out your social media handle? Oh, um, per my Twitter handle is Peruzi underscore vibes. Um, P E R U W Z I underscore vibes, V I B S. And that's my Instagram handle as well, that's my Facebook as well. Thank you so much Thank for sticking with much. me. So I'll come your way next time. It's bye-bye.